Jacob O'Reilly Wants a Pet by Lynn Rickards Illustrated by Lee Wildish Read by Nana Jacob O'Reilly had tried all he could to convince Mum and Dad he'd be ever so good. An absolute angel, the greatest son yet, if only they let him have one little pet. He asked for a dog, but Dad didn't want fleas. He tried for a cat, but the fair made Mum sneeze. He went through a list of small rodents for sale, but the very idea turned Mum and Dad pale. If I'm not allowed gerbils or hamsters or mice, don't you think an iguana would be rather nice? He'd be awfully quiet and eat all the bugs and never leave fair or dead birds on the rugs. Oh, please, can I have a pet? An emu can make a fine pet, have you heard? It is said to be quite an affectionate bird, and although it is tall and needs quite a large nest, it keeps to itself and is never a pest. Oh, please, can I have a pet? A walrus would be an ideal sort of pet. He could live in the bathtub to keep himself wet. I'd comb out his whiskers and scrub his broad back and brush those big tusks when he'd finished a snack. Oh, please, can I have a pet? Well, Mum and Dad thought about all these suggestions while waiting for Jacob to run out of questions. They pondered their choices and finally said... Why not try your own pet sitting business instead? The very next day, Jacob put up a sign. Come one and come all, any number is fine. I'll care for your pets while you take a nice break. They'll have a great time here with pet sitter Jake. In no time at all, Jacob had a full house. Four dogs and five hamsters, six cats and one mouse. A python named Morris curled up on his bed. Two donkeys, five sheep and one horse filled the shed. The kitchen was hopping with rabbits and hares. And somebody's zebra was blocking the stairs. At feeding time, Jacob was run off his feet. Ah! <sighs> Some pets wanted salad and some wanted meat. They needed a hose down when dinner was done and then it was time for a marathon run. (sighs) When two weeks were up and the owners came back, the house had turned into a flea-bitten shack. The minute the last pet whizzed off into town, pet sitter Jake went and pulled his sign down. And that's when he noticed a rather fine snail just sitting quietly there on a nail. Hello there, smiled Jacob. I don't think we've met. And finally, Jacob had found the right pet.